Four rounds of MXGPN, four wins, simply unbelievable. That doesn't happen too often. You must feel invincible out there. <laughs> well, it's, it's crazy. It's already four GPs, four wins, and I'm just very happy, very confident right now. I'm feeling with, good with the bike. Today I, I was struggling a lot with, with the track, and, uh, but I still got a win. So even if on, on a track like this where I was not feeling 100%, I can get a win. Then make makes me even more proud and make, makes the win even even cooler, you know. So no, super happy. And you've been so good this season. You haven't really had to answer that many questions, but this weekend you did with what happened in qualifying and what happened in the first moto. So you must be buzzing to answer those questions. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think they put me on a challenge this weekend, uh, starting uh, quite the outside, and I had to prove I'm a good starter, and I did twice. So um, I'm very happy. Uh, I put so much effort in the motos and. I'm happy also for the team um, that we can, you know, finish the weekend on top after a rough Saturday. So we're gonna be all super happy. And what changed between motos? Because in the first moto, you have to say Roman was on it. He passed you and pulled away. Guys, you're past you as well, but it was still quite close between you two, right until a few back markers got in the way. Yeah, but the second moto, it looked like you were a lot more comfortable. Did well, you change anything? Yeah, or? I mean, second moto I was more comfortable. The bike changed the heat on suspension, felt better. Um, first moto, I actually didn't feel 100% with track, with the bike, and they pulled away, but like before the last um, uh, lappers, I, I was getting closer to Romain and to Tim. So I, I was actually on the last stages of the model getting better and better. Uh, and then with the lappers, I just lost so much time. I knew it was impossible to regroup that gap because I was not that that much faster to gain, let's say, a second a lap, you know? So, um, so yeah, I mean, I finished the model. I was like, hmm, I don't feel 100%, but... It wasn't too that. It wasn't that bad, and with little bike adjustments, I can maybe feel just safer, and that's what actually felt that second motor just safer. Not maybe not much better, but just made me ride on a more safer way. And watching you in that second moto, you were doing a few things that other riders weren't doing. Just before the, the last corner and the finish jump, you were landing on that bump. Unbelievable to watch. Yeah. Steph and Everett should be proud. But even to have the thought process to know to do that, never mind execute it at the highest level of racing, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it, it was cool. I was just in like a, pre, like a, a yeah, bump yeah. to pre-jump the whole section. and It was fun. I don't think I was gaining any time. It was just cool to do. You know, that were, that's why I was doing it. And you're not hitting the bumps before that? I mean, I think if I didn't do it or do it, it, it wasn't a big difference, but uh, it was more for fun than for other things, you know? <laughs> and just on Arco de Trento, it's actually my first time here. I don't think the TV gives it justice. It's so unique, it's hard to ride. You have really rock hard sections and then they bring some sand in. I mean, setting up a bike must be a nightmare. What's it like to ride? And obviously, the, this is a... Even though you may, might not feel comfortable, and on paper it's a more geyser and fever track, you've still had a lot of good days here, even though it might not yeah. be your strongest track. Yeah, but this year, you know, we didn't have any rain. Normally, it always rains one of the days, and the track gets a bit softer. And you have different kind of berms, and a little bit like ruts and stuff. And this weekend, I feel like yesterday was a bit better, but today, somehow, the preparation was quite weird, and it was so hard in places, not many options to pass, to be honest. I didn't have to pass a lot because I was starting always good, but I, I like, no choice. You had to go that line, and that's it. So, um, it was quite like I said quite sketchy with yeah, it was a weird track this, but it's a little bit like this uh, the ground over here is super super hard and I don't think on TV you can you can even see how hard it is and how slippery it is you all you feel like you're losing the front every single corner so it's tough to ride and obviously you never really had an off season you were racing 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 and you're still racing have you thought about burnout? I mean, are you are you factoring in recovery, or are you still no, working, working really, really I hard? I will, I will get better, and that's my plan for the season. And two soft ones in the next two GPs in Portugal and a home GP in Spain again. You must be looking forward to those two tracks. Yeah, um, tracks that I like. Uh, Portugal, it's a very cool track. I also won there a couple of times. Um, and then GP in Spain in my home city, so it will be, will be cool. And just on Spain, it was an amazing atmosphere at uh, Lugo, and there's talk the final round might also be in Spain, is that something you've heard of? And who knows, it might be your last GP, so what a send-off that could be. Sorry? <laughs> the, last, the final round uh, could yeah, be in Spain, is that something you've heard? I don't know. Um, I mean, if the title needs to be decided in Spain, it would be cool, but hopefully we can be... 
I mean, make it happen before, like last year. Um, but anyway, the most important thing is to take the title. I mean, if it's on the last race, and if in the last race we got a race in Spain, will be will be will be crazy. And next year, you're not going to tell me what you're going to do. But have you made the, de the, the decision yet? Um, I still we are, we are, we still don't know for next year. We are really focused on MXGP. That's my goal right now: keep winning and keep doing uh, good races. Perfect. Thank you for your time.